Cadillac has a knack for flagship and concept cars, producing some absolute stunners over the last century, and a few clunkers, too. The brand is back at it again with the all-new Celestic concept car which promises to be a hand-built masterpiece that will catapult Cadillac back to being the standard of the world. It features future-forward design elements like an aluminum space frame chassis, an all-electric powertrain, and cameras for side-view mirrors. But that's our future, now. Let's instead take a look at the past Cadillac visions of the future to see what it got right and what we might have missed out on. We can't talk about flagship Cadillacs without going way back to the one that started it all. A true behemoth of a car, future forward with its sheer exuberance and optimism. The 1930 Cadillac B16. That's not a typo. Back in the late 1920s, Cadillac followed the maxim of more cylinders equals smoother, more reliable power. That resulted in this the first ever V16 powered production car for the public. The V16 was first shown off in 1929, laughing in the face of the Great Depression lurking right around the corner. Somehow the V16 managed to survive for an 11-year production run, selling over 4,000 examples worldwide. Its price ranged from $5,000 to $9,000 at the time, which would be up to about $160,000 at today's dollar value. Who says Cadillacs can ask for six figure prices? Our first ever motor trend car of the year is also one of our all time favorites, the 1949 Cadillac Series 62 Sedanette, from back when Cadillacs could still proudly claim to be the standard of the world without question. While the 1949's design was practically unchanged from the previous year, it did introduce a new overhead valve V8 engine that we praised back at the time as the future of the industry. Here's what engineer and future road and track publisher John R. Bond, who made the final selection that year, thought about the car. To Bond's eye, the gains in fuel efficiency, weight savings, power output, and durability in Cadillac's new 331 cubic inch, 5.4 liter, push road V8 far outweighed anything Ford or Oldsmobile had done. Weighing nearly 200 pounds less and making 10 more HP than the flathead it replaced. It was the most powerful engine on the market, with 160 horsepower, sans accessories, which brought it down to 133 horsepower as installed, certainly one of the most iconic Cadillacs ever, the 1957 Cadillac Eldorado, in both its Bruim and Beeritz convertible flavors, is definitively an icon of automotive a design from a time where style and flair was luxury. Just 400 examples of the Bruin were built the year of 1957, each one by hand. It featured suicide doors, cruise control, power windows, air conditioning, memory seats, forged aluminum wheels, and a brushed stainless steel roof. The General Motors Heritage website says there were up to 44 full leather and trim combinations available to owners. Pricing started at just over $13,000 at the time which would be an approximate value of around $137,000 today.